Hey everyone, Rory is here with Half-Life 2 Aftermath. Now, <laughs> I was going to release this yesterday, or I was going to record this yesterday, but I, I didn't have the time. And unfortunately today I'm also not going to have the time, but I'm not going to let you wait any longer for this. So, unfortunately I'm going to have to do two shorter episodes. I was originally going to record one long, full episode of this and try and get as much of it in as possible. But I think we'll have to cut it into maybe two or three episodes, depending on how long this the content, how much content there is in this. <laughs> um, but yeah, due to unforeseen reasons, this afternoon I'm not going to be able to be uploading, so I want to get this out as soon as I can, or get this uploaded as soon as I can. Uh, also might be why my voice is a little bit croaky, just like, just got up. So let's have a look. What have we got here? How about we start? I think I might actually just start with the demo maps that the guys created, because that might be a little bit shorter. So and um, and it definitely will fit into an episode. So uh, yeah, there's apparently four of these uh, maps made by the aftermath team to show off weapons and in or NPCs that aren't visible in leaked maps. So yeah, let's have a look. Oh. Oh right, you get like a folder system. That's cool. All right, let's have it. Just let's just go through these one at a time. This is a short map, small map to show off leaked magnets and anim animation files found in Portal Two, in 2011. So this is Magnus Magnus Wave VCD. <laughs> Simple enough. Shake head. I wouldn't call that a shake, but all right. Magnus, no point. <laughs> wonder if that has something to do with... wonder if that name has something more to do with the story than what he's actually doing. Yeah, that's just an idol, so this is going to be pretty blank. <laughs> Get going. So yeah, these are these are clearly like this one. Get going. Clearly there's some text that should be playing in there. So sorry, um some voice lines, some some of that information. But because of the fact that there is no there's only the gesture. So there's the VCD which has the uh the way that the character animates, as well as uh usually it has like a script attached to it. But this one might not have any script attached to it, purely because the character doesn't move their mouth. The way that the mouth movement works in uh the VCDs is that um, unless you anim animate it um, manually, what it does is it detects the text in the VCD and it utilizes pre existing mouth movements for certain sounds and it does like a predictive automatic calculation of what the mouth should be doing for each point in the words and then it, you just script, you just have the words attached to parts of the animation. It's really cool. Um, if you can use it right, it's really cool. I've never really been able to use it uh, correctly. But anyway, we'll continue. Let's move on. Yep, found- oh, that was- yeah, so those were found in Portal 2 in 2011. I remember those being found, I actually do remember that. Uh, because it came up in the news. Um, small map to show off the early E3- EP3, Episode 3, Weapon- Weapon Proto 1. Alrighty, let's have a look. Now, I've heard this one, apparently, you can shoot through walls. With- uh, this is Weapon Proto 1, a combined laser gun that- using the Revolve model. Develop up debug messages are shown in the console. These are shown if picking up an object or oh god. You can also right click and it will show you where where enemies are located. Oh shit, yeah. Another function of right clicking is using it to consume props for ammo. Oh god, I missed. I'm assuming it digs through enemies. Yep. So how do you d how do you consume the props? Oh 
god, what's this gonna do? Oh, yeah, here we go. Ah! That's super interesting, although the sound effects leave something to be desired. <laughs> but that's super interesting. Oh! Oh god. My aiming is all over the place. <laughs> oh shit, this is really interesting. I love stuff like this. I love looking at stuff like this. So wait, did it say that... If I'm not mistaken, did it say... So you can just hold down the button, you don't have to click it each time. <laughs> wait. If, you, if you're just looking over it, it starts doing that. That's really interesting. Weird. <laughs> oh, okay, 10 must be the full ammo. Um, nothing in there that you can actually use, is there? No. But apparently, I've, I've heard that you can shoot through walls with this. Yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting. I find all that kind of stuff super interesting. I love seeing new weapons and new weapon ideas in these games. So let's have a look. NPC weapon scanner demo. So we'll have to show up the early show off the early episode three NPC NPC weapon scanner. I'm assuming it means sort of like weaponized scanner. I'm gonna switch to shotgun, I like the shotgun. Ow. Whoa, that's annoying. <laughs> oh dear. So, okay, so it looks just like a standard uh, scanner drone. But when it sees you, it starts firing lasers at you. Uh, and it looks like he has little. It has little pellets that it shoots. Man, that's aggravating. <laughs> Alrighty, let's move on. Okay. So what have we got left? We've got NPC Combine Armored Demo. Small map to show off the early NP Episode 3 NPC, NPC Combine Armored. Now, I remember seeing this in... I don't remember the actual NPC, but I remember seeing uh, this being leaked, or like information about there being an armored NPC. I remember there being the entity existing. <laughs> okay, they're buggy. <laughs> That's super weird. Okay, have they... <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe... I think, um... They maybe just attached an armor object to the NPC. <laughs> maybe that armored object is the armored... Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure of what I was seeing in this map. I'm just gonna look at the console. No, there's nothing, nothing interesting there. Okay. Well, there is something interesting there, but it's not not related to the armored guys. Alrighty, so that that's just the the little um, ones that weren't in any maps already. So let's have a look. What have we got here? We got quite a lot of little maps. Um, let's have a look. Let's see, let's see what each one says. So we got Outland 06A clean, a cleaned up version of episode or EP2 Outland 06A. Without any enemies or scripted sequence. Sequences. Okay. So, that's from episode 2? A cleaned up version of episode 2, Outland 10. Without any enemies or scripted sequences. And that's, once again, have been... These are... So these have been edited... These were edited in 2012. So they're... They're related somehow to episode 3 in some way. So we've got Outland 12 clean. Cleaned up version of episode... 2's Outland 12, without any, without any things, 
Oh, here we go. Here's something new. A modified version of Episode 2's Outland. 10 BSP, lower the field, and escape different each time you play. All right. No, so this was this is an example of what I think Tyler was talking about. Um, there's a t this is a test for like variability in in Half Life Two. So it's the same uh, same sequence where you've got to where the combine trap you, and you've got to fight them off and then escape. Except with this one, the the way where things spawn and the layout perhaps uh, of things is different every time you play it so it's a, like a variability test like a bit like um what they did with left 4 dead where each time you play the level there's it changes what things spawn and it sometimes changes what path you take as well which is really cool um so that could be interesting and then we've got a small zombie arena small arena designed to test enemy type and placement randomization so once again random placement stuff And we've got a section of level taken from episode 1, City 17, OOA, with random zombie spawning added. Right, yep. Oh, now we, here's one of the complex tests. A complex test of dog of a dog companion inside the episode 2 mines. Continues to Dog Gates Canyon. An instance of, Outlands, of an Outlands house from episode 2 with randomly spawning enemies and enemy types. Okay. An instance of Outland House for episode 2 with randomly... Yeah, okay. So that's just an, a harder... Oh, yeah, it's a different version of the same map. Then we've got an instance of Out, an Outland's House from episode 2 with randomly spawning enemies. Oh, okay, so this is the large version of that. Um, yeah. Oh, this is one of the ones that apparently takes a long time. Well, one of these two takes a long time. So we've got this one, we've got the test bed. Uh, resource gathering test bed. Resource gathering system test map. Made by Ken Birdwell. And then we've got Resource Gathering System Prototype Map, set in Episode 2's Outland 12. Um, and that's the prototype version of it. So I'm assuming these two are linked, but this is the main one. So we've got some test maps that we can look at first. Um, so what I'll do is actually, I'll do the test maps first. And then maybe tomorrow, in tomorrow's episode, I can do uh, the... I can check out the remaining what's left of this. So we'll just we'll go to the small the small test maps first. Oh god. Galkit. Do I have anything else? No. This or the crowbar. This is so loud though. Damn it. I can tell it's. I can tell the game has been is set to um, medium difficulty, mainly because they and enemies just do so much more damage. <laughs> Ow! God dang it. Oh dear. <laughs> Alrighty. Perhaps we shall try this one more time and have a look to see if things spawn in the same places. Already, I think, yep, that is different. Yep. Everything spawned new. Okay, I'm not going to bother going through it again. <laughs> we'll go with this one now. So this is another random spawn... Random spawning... Uh... Map. Oh dear! Well, where was he? Was he in here or something? What the hell was... How did... Where... It was... <laughs> This is like a better version of, of what they already did. And this is from the map from uh, episode one. Oh, the door right here. <laughs> I 
sneaking uh, sneaking up on them. So I'm guessing I'm guessing for the most part, this is just going to be like a stand. Well, it's going to appear like a standard map, um, except that. The if I play it again, the zombies will be in different locations, and perhaps different. Oh, it's, it's, in this case, it's all zombies. But if I played one of the other maps, it would vary between enemy types. Yeah. So if we'll just we'll just load it again, like we did last time, and we'll see what happens this time. Firstly, no zombie in my room. I think there was a zombie in my room last time. Barnacle around the entrance. Zombie on the opposite side this time. Zombie right in here this time. Uh, those zombies are in the same places. Oh, but there's a box here and there's a zombie over here. But those these these appear to be the same. So the, yeah, it's it's not a hundred percent every time it's going to be different. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 variable but it's not hugely it's not like a hundred percent different every time. So yeah, there's more dense zombies at the start, by the looks of it, this time. But there is some examples of, like, uh, some of them were hidden a little bit better this time. So, you know, there's like... <laughs> okay. Yeah, there was kind of like... There was just, it was just different. It wasn't a hugely different, but it was different. So yeah, it's just variability in, in enemy spawning, which is always interesting. It's always useful. God, that, what's that noise? I'm gonna move away from the noise. Um, okay, let's have a look at what we got next. Oops, wrong one. Here we go. So, uh, we'll go to the, yeah, we'll go to the, um, the Outland Houses and just have a look to see what, what they look like. Okay. I have no weapons. Um. Am I supposed to have weapons? Ah! Or am I invincible? No, I'm not invincible. Wait, yeah, am I supposed to have weapons? Because I don't have any weapons. I have a grenade now. <laughs> I got him good. But that's the only grenade I had. Oh, I got another grenade. And grab one of their weapons. I got one of their weapons. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't have a health bar. I don't know how much health I have. I don't know how much ammo I have. I can only tell how much ammo I have from my uh, cursor. Okay, we did it, despite not having any weapons. Oh god, no, there's still more! I was foolish. I need to get their ammo.
Man, I'm such a bad shot. Okay, now we did it. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered. I don't know why I bothered to do that, but I felt the need to do that. So yeah, but despite starting with no weapon, I managed to overcome the enemies. And having no sprint or anything, because I don't have a suit. It's just Gordon in his, in his, uh, work attire from <laughs> Half-Life 1. So yeah, this is this is a test map. We'll have a look quickly at this one. I don't know if it'll probably be the same. It'll be the same deal. Oh, this time I start with stuff. Okay, that's different. I get one of these this time. Still don't have a suit though. Okay, and this time there's no enemies. <laughs> right, so I start with a weapon, but there are no enemies. So yeah, this, these are clearly just sort of like they use they tested out these. These, uh... Okay, there are zo there's zombies in this map. Oh god, I can't sprint. I have to bunny hop my way around. There is ammo in there. I don't know if that'll include... Okay, yeah, it's just ammo. I've never tried using one of those without... Uh... Having the weapon, so... <laughs> Oh dear. There are no weapons! Okay, one second. <laughs> Can I do that without... Oh, I, I, I enabled cheese earlier. Cool. Wait, do, I wonder what weapons I have. I have the fear pod. Okay, so the proto pistol is not given to you with Impulse 101. Good to know. Okay, where's this last guy? That was uh, scary. St I tried to say startling, but then I said scary. Alrighty. Well, that's this test map. Um, yeah, not much else to say about that, I guess. Uh, and then we'll try the resource gathering test bed. But I think I'll leave the other major stuff to the next episode. So we can keep this one nice and short. So this is like the the scouting, the initial scouting episode. And then uh, tomorrow we'll play the actual, like, the meaty stuff. Yeah, so what I'd heard about this was that, um... Don't have enough resources to open the game. Okay. So what I need is, uh... I need three gate paths. Nope. Okay, can't open that one either. Am I supposed to have weapons once again? Oh dear. Dog can't naturally attack, so... They're breaking the boxes for me though. Yeah. Oh, so that's part of the gate resources. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have weapons for this. So let's get these. We've got biological resources. And I also now have my suit, so that's better. God, it's so loud! Oh god. Ooh, an energy resource. It's weird the dog just stands there and doesn't do anything. Okay, let's get out of the antlion area. Shall we? It's so loud! So yeah, these, these ones... The um, cars just spawn the mechanical resources constantly. Okay. 
<laughs> wow, that was ridiculous. Um, right, so what does it say that I need? It said just a second ago what I needed. Get resources required to open 25B15M5E. <laughs> Dog can just go through it. <laughs> That's really funny. I feel like he's he wants to do something when I go to that gate. Does it say anything? No, that gate doesn't say anything. So how much was it? It was... I need 25B, so I still need more biological. Mechanical, I've got plenty. Energy. I need a bit more energy. Part of me feels like that should have spawned stuff. But it didn't. Alright. I'm just gonna have a look through this. I don't want to trigger any more of those guys just yet. Just gonna have a look in here, see what's in here. Is it like a head crab spawning room? It kinda looks like it might be a head crab spawning room. What the hell? Well, I have enough. Oh, these are fair pod things. These are the fair pod uh, things. No wonder they were making that noise. And that was a terrifying enemy. It was an antlion, although I don't know if it was red when it spawned, but it was an antlion that... I wonder if I can click it again. Yeah, it's a, it's a red... It's a, it's a red antlion that spawns... Oh god. Protect me, dog. Oh god. Like, see, my aiming is all over the place. So yeah, I've got, I've got so many biological, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Um, so yeah, let's spawn... Oh god, I must have stepped over it again. It's like, a, it's a red antlion. I think it's supposed to be a fast head crab zombie. But it's like, it was like a... It came across like a, um, a fast head crab zombie with, uh, the same kind of, z the same kind of numbers as a poison head crab zombie would normally have. So it had like, it's like a fast head crab zombie covered in, covered in, um, fast head crab zombies, you know, it's, Okay, I need energy ones. That's what I'm. That's what I need now. Give me more bio ones. Where do I get? Is the energy? I have a feeling the energy ones come from the uh, the Antlion miners. Uh, do I have any? I'm gonna use these. Damn it! Where are they? Tons of bio, bio stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was this. Maybe it is the electrical guys up here. It does appear that this. Oh, there we go. I need one more energy. One. Um. God damn it. There we go. Got my ammo back. There we go. Thank you, dog. Oh, several energy ones now. Damn it. Where were these energy ones when I needed them? Please don't stand on that. Good, good. Cool. Now we can unlock this door. No, it's this one. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'm just going to give myself more ammo again. Spend resources at this upgrade station to equip dog with new abilities. I think it's supposed to say. Uh, 
So you select an upgrade, like select this one. It doesn't it doesn't appear there's anything on him. Shield wall zapper. Right, so I need even more freaking Energy 250. What? Mounted okay, I'm just gonna go to this end. Maybe these are cheap. No, those are expensive. Oh my god. Look at the requirements. I have like nothing. <laughs> oh, what a grindathon type thing. If I if I had to get that many freaking pieces. Like maybe maybe we don't go any further with this. I feel like uh, you're supposed to be able to f I, wait. Have I? I haven't gone through any through here either. But that's because I can't. Part of me thinks there's more stuff to look at over here, but I am out of time. Um, there was nothing else in that dark room, was there? Nope, just four walls. Oh dear. So yeah, I think this is the... These are like the foundations for what the actual map is. But the... Yeah. I think if I was to do... If I was to get the amounts of points that I need to actually upgrade, I'd be in this particular... I'd be in the test map for days. Because <laughs> it's like, it requires something like... There were, there were numbers that were like in the 400s. Oh god, and dog is no longer in position either. Come with me, dog. Yeah. 250 energy. How are you supposed to... God freaking damn it. All of these require a huge amount... Oh, this one's... Oh, gate opener. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to come back and I'll have to do it like that because you need you need that to get the gates open and then from there you can get the other ones which are much higher throw attack and then this one's 30 directed movement rotor jump see you need the what you need is the oh energy harvester you need energy to get the freaking energy harvester so you what you what you'd want is you want to get the gate opener which requires... I don't have any of the requirements for this, so you have to have 55... Oh no, I have the requirements for biological, but I don't have the requirements for mechanical or energy. Um, but once you once you got those... Uh, once you got those requirements for the gate opener, you could, get, you could get access to these. I think behind the gates is... These are resource production things, so you can get the other upgrades. So I'd have to I'd have to spend some time get the gate opener, and then I can just sort of harvest the the um the resources to try out the other things, or I could go straight into the level that's actually supposed to be this is actually used in, uh, and do it there instead because that would definitely be more interesting for a video. Either that, or I just I get the upgrades, or I get to the point where I can get some of the upgrades, and then I record that instead. I won't I won't maybe start the episode uh, from the scratch. I'll start it halfway through. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll leave that episode there. Yeah, just have a look. So we just got, so there's the dog gates map, there's the gathering prototype, so the, the, the next stage of this gathering mechanism. Um, and then there's these ones, which I don't know if these have anything special in them. I know this, well, this one does, this one's a definite, uh, but these three just sound like they're cleaned up versions of the original maps. And I don't know if they'll actually have anything in them. But if they do, I'll, I'll run through them and, and show you. Um, well, I'll run through them d either way. <laughs> but I'll just sh perhaps just show you the changes. Um, the, I mean, there's all, there's the it's clearly there's not going to be any enemies or um, sequences, as, as it says there. But uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything else in there to show. So we'll see. Anyway.
If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, 